So what's happening guys? It's been a while since my last video, but I've not forgotten about you and apparently Intel hasn't forgotten about us at all. The new Alder Lake CPUs have launched with great success, bringing back some much anticipated performance back to the table, taking on AMD finally and actually overtaking AMD. The overclocking variants, aka the K series, have already been launched and they are breaking records left, right and center. I've never been a fan of the K series myself. I've always been a cheapskate, I suppose, and always gone for the non-K CPUs, even the F variant, which doesn't even have an onboard or on-die GPU. That doesn't mean that Intel is going to leave you hanging. They have your back with a wide range of more CPU SQUs being leaked out today. We are going to see non-K CPUs at very good prices. Unfortunately, they're not going to be clocked exactly the same as the K series CPUs, but that's if you can find a motherboard and DDR5 memory. Never mind the coolers that have been a massive headache for early adopters of these CPUs. If you can find a non-K, I don't think you're going to be too upset. Let's take a look at them. Taking another look at the actual leak, another one from China, of course, we can see the 12900K and the 12900KF being compared to the 12900 and 12900F respectively. Here we can see a comparison from clock to clock, which is actually much lower P core and E core clock than I anticipated from 3.2 to 2.4 from 2.4 to 1.8. So that's quite a significant drop. It's terrible, actually. Moving on to the Core i7 range with the non-Ks coming in at a P core clock of 2.1, an E core clock of 1.6, and a turbo boost speeds of 4.9 versus the five gigahertz, which is also, again, quite terrible. It's almost half of the clock speed for half of the TDP or the Watt, which is actually not great. Moving on to the i5, things get a little bit more complicated because we see a change in actual core count as well, not just base clocks and all that stuff. So we see the 12600K and 12600KF shipping with 10 cores, 16 threads, with the 10600 non-K and the 12400F we're seeing a variant of six cores, 12 threads, less L3 cache, which is also not great. A lower clock speed on the 12600 3.3 versus 2.7 on the K series, and then a very low 2.5 on the 12400F, which is terrible. And then E core, non date, nada, nothing on that yet. We don't know. We'll have to wait and see 65 watt TDP. I must say, I was a little bit more excited in the beginning of this video, which was not that long ago, about these non-K CPUs, but I'm feeling a little bit disappointed. I think Intel is trying something strange and wonderful here. It's as if the K series is, is going to become the ultimate go-to for high clock speeds, and the non-K CPUs are going to become the efficient, low-watt CPU variants. It's maybe just for the 12th and maybe even the 13th gen, this is their game that they're going to play. But I don't know. It just, it feels empty to me. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me that they would completely nerf non-K CPUs regarding clock speeds. We're going to have to wait and see when the benchmark comes out and see if they can actually hold up and if that turbo boost is actually going to help anything and if it's actually going to maintain that core clock and that core boost when you actually need it. I don't mind the low clock speed when I'm not gaming or when I don't really need that performance, but I really do need to see those clock speeds come back when a game is fired up or an application that really needs it. Otherwise, let's see what Intel can pull off here. AMD's 6000 series CPUs are around the corner, talking about January announcements. So Intel, enjoy the throne while you can and well done for sticking it to AMD once again. Well, it's only like the second or third time in history, but well done. I'm excited for 12th gen, 13th gen is probably going to be where I'm going to step into the market. I might skip this one and I might just get a 13th gen CPU when all the Windows 11 and coolers and everything has been settled and I can actually jump in and actually buy one because I can afford it, first of all, and secondly, because it's actually available. Anyways, guys, it was good to see you again after such a long time. 
click like if you like this subscribe if you haven't yet and i will see you in the next video which won't take this long again cheers guys